Hi, this is Donnie Vaughn of the Marketing Twins. Um, we picked up there at the end of our last tutorial talking about how to, this is the second part of adding a new page to your site, but we got to the end of the video and we've got the page all added, but now we need to add it to the navigation or the menu bar, depending on how you like to say it. Some people call it menu, some people call it navigation. As I said earlier, if you want to add navigation uh, to, the, to what we've created as a college page, to one of these buttons or somewhere on the site. That's more of a structural change and we'll need to go through Jordan to talk about how to how we accomplish that. But primarily to, if you want to add this page and have it up here uh, let's say next to um, I don't know let's just say that we want to have it next to between member login and contact. We're just going to make that up and see what we go from there. How do we go about doing that? Okay well we've got the page all set. We see that it's published. It's all ready to go. And so now we need to come up here back to our dashboard and you can either from that page or you can start at the dashboard either way and go over here to appearance and hit menus. Now some people again call this navigation but WordPress refers to it as a menu and so what we've got here is well, they kind of call it both it's home page navigation I think that's what we called it so it says where you select your menus and so there's two different ways of doing this you can see here that this has a, a home page navigation and that's what this is there are these others that are member quick links and visitor quick links that one time we were going to do that we I don't think we've ever done anything with those but the home page navigation if you'll see here it's home staff sermons that matches what's up here and anytime you see the drop down that means it's kind of a sub and so those have been indented a little bit and this is a pretty easy thing because these are just kind of drag and drop a little bit you slide this over and uh, you, let's say you move I'm trying to do too many at once well anyway you get the idea that these kind of drag and drop and you can move these around if you want to save that and now if you were to refresh the page this contact is moved over there and so we're going to, for the sake of this, is go ahead and move that back. But now we're talking about how do we add a new one. There's two different ways of doing this. Number one, you come down here to this. Uh, let me start at the top and kind of work my way down so I don't go too fast. This page is here. You can view all. You can search a page. Or you really can go to the most recent. And that's what most people will find is at the top of the page is the page we want. So if I click to add menu, now if, let's just say for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to add it at the very end. We save the menu and we refresh our browser let's look what happens again the member login the contact is there but where's this college students well college students kind of wrapped around and I guess depending on how big your screen it is it might stay back up but most people's screens are roughly around this so that's not a good thing you don't want it to wrap around so the problem is is that the page itself is called welcome to college welcome college students remember that was the title of this particular page so if we change that, if we just said college, okay, that will work, but it's not really a really catchy title for the page. So how do we go about doing this? That's if if you've got a situation like online giving, that's going to fit really nice and neat. But if you want to say welcome college students, it's a little long. So let's remove that for the sake of this. Let's save this so we can remove this. And now let me show you how to add it in here. This we'll go to a custom links. All right, so let's go up here, and we're going to go to Belton Church slash college. Okay, there's our URL that gets us to the college page. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to go over here to my custom links. And over here, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to add in my menu, my URL, and this is where I can create a label. And this is really what we're talking about. Label is what does this say up here? So what if we said college students? And we add to the menu there. It adds it down here. Let's see if now, if we were to refresh the page, now it fits. Now you can also change that to you can say college or really whatever. So now we have a college students link on our homepage on the navigation, the menu, and that's what we want. So that's how you would add a page from the previous tutorials, but then also how you get this into the navigation or the menu area. If you have any questions, you can find my email at the top of the page, donnie at marketingtwins.com.